What's up everybody, this is Jack from Crypto 49er bringing you my knowledge in cryptocurrency. Today I want to talk about the RSI full bear ADX and how you can adjust the parameters on the fly. Today's video is related to the video I made last time, which is um, how you can remotely control your gecko via Telegram. So if you haven't watched that video, I recommend you watch that video first. But the idea is you can use Telegram to send buy and sell signals to Gecko. At the end of that video, I was showing you like a to-do list of things I have to do. So as of today, actually I got them two of the three things done, which is a get this to work with other strategies, which I have done and got it to work with the RSI Bobear ADX strategy. And the other thing is to get this to allow changing strategy parameters. So that way you can have the parameter adjust it slightly. So in this case, for example, the RSI full bear ADX, it uses the RSI indicator. So you can have it sell when the RSI is at 85 instead of 80. So that you can adjust it depending on what you think the market can hold. Like say, let's say that in that moment, do you expect the market to go higher? You can adjust it to higher, so 85 for example. So then that way it will sell at a higher point getting you more gains. So in the last video, I was trying to get this to work in terms of uh, how needed into a strategy, into RSI phobia strategy and getting it to work. And I was having the same issue that I think one of the users on the forum mentioned, I think it was Comrade69, he mentioned that um, it just gets stuck. It doesn't crash, but it's stuck on the start screen when the logo showed, it starts running, setting plugins. So, and I had the same problem, and I thought it was something to do with uh, the log.js file that he mentioned. That's actually not the case. So I'm gonna show you this right now. So, I have this running already, but I'm gonna stop it. So right now I have it running, it works fine. So, as you can see here, it works perfectly fine. But um, what happened is this. If you set config.silent to true, which I have it set up here. If you set it to true, it will look like it's frozen and it's not working. I just un I uncommented it and I'm going to run it right now and show you guys what happens. So it's there. It's, it just looks like it's hanging there. It's like using a strategy or a side will be ADX and nothing else is going on. You don't get any more info. You're like, is it frozen? It's really just because of that. So nothing else. So if I stop it, I comment it out again. And then save it. I'm gonna run it again. Now it's working properly. See, it's like it's loading all these other data that you were not seeing before. So that's one of those key issues that, by default, this strategy. And I'm guessing that's what Comrade sixty nine was running at the same time as well. He was trying to add this into other strategy, and he probably used RSI Bobear or RSI Bobear ADX because. Those two strategies, by default, has config that silence to be true. At least when I downloaded the RSI Bobear ADX, the latest version, it is the silent is set to true. I'm not sure why. The other thing is I want to point out is that I actually also modified the Telegram bot.js code that Zabra has created basically. In his code, the send message and see it's right around here. Process advice right here actually. This is where I actually process advice whether you do it long or short, and then we'll send out this particular message: sell order received, buy order received. It actually his there was a there's a bug in there where it actually prevented the buy order I believe to show properly. Only shows sell orders. So I fixed it in here, and it's relatively straightforward. I even put a pull request so that he can merge it into his um into his repo, but. I think he's kind of busy at this point since he hasn't really been working on this project lately. So I doubt that uh, he'll be merging the pull request in. So what you can do is um, follow the instructions I have in here in terms of um, setting up the RSI Bobear ADX with remote control with Telegram. So you follow the instructions in here, you should be able to set up this strategy and be able to remotely control it. So I'm going to show you how it works right now. So I currently have it running. This one, make sure it is running perfectly. So, and then I'm gonna go into Telegram. <clears throat> we'll click Start. So I modified it a little bit already, as you can see. Last time when you click on slash start, it actually gave me an unrecognized command. I added that in here. So, and I also added slash help to give you a list of potential um, commands you can issue out. 
there's actually more than this here. I have to edit this. This is still really in the stage of being edited. The code is still being modified as we speak. So <clears throat> right now, obviously, you still have the buy and sell. But in addition, you have now the RSI bull high, RSI bull low, RSI bear high, and RSI bear low. So these are the parameters you can change. So sometime down the line, I will be adding the ADX as well. The reason why you don't see the other numbers, like you don't see the SMA fast and the SMA slow, um, the reason why you can't adjust those numbers is because even if you adjust those numbers, it won't affect how that how those indicators are run. Those are loaded at the very beginning. I'll show you right in the code right here. So going back to the strategy right here, going to the top. So you see that um, when you add the indicator MA slow, which is a slow SMA and MA fast, fast SMA, those settings are loaded at the very beginning. So you can change those along with the interval for RSI as well. What you can really change is the the Beaumont high, the Beaumont low for the ADX, also the RSI settings themselves. So those are the only things that you really can change. And that's why they are listed here. So let's say that, so here I can click on settings, one of those unlisted commands. So you can see the different settings I have currently for the RSI settings. And if I want to change any of them, I can just type in slash RSI bear low. But let's go into slash status first. Let's see the current uh, market situation. So right now we're currently in a bear trend at the RSI 28. And we'll buy when the RSI is less than 13. Let's say that I want to set it to RSI bear low. So bear low to 30, for example. You will normally do this. If you really want to just issue a buy or sell command, you just issue a buy or sell command. You really only want to do this. You want to change this like slightly. Let's say from 13 to like 15 or to like 13 to 20 even. If you think that the market won't hit that low, for example, the bear, you want to change it to like that number. But you really don't want to change it like this. In this case, I'm going to show you that I can change it live on the fly right here. And it will actually, because the bear low is actually now higher than the current bear RSI, it should, it should buy into the strategy. At least that is the case supposed to be the case. It might or might not work depending on um, the current candle or the bear RSI. So <laughs> let's see what happens. So right now it looks like probably it's not working. Let's just take a look at the status here. Which mm -hmm. at least show me. Oh no there it is. It's just buy. There it goes. So <clears throat> right now here buy and bear, bear trend. So just, it tells you this RSI is currently at 28. So and then um actually fell a little bit. So you see RSI is 28.06. Previously when I checked it was 28.29. So that's definitely lower than the bear RSI low of 30. That's why I bought. So, and again, if I want to sell it, I can just make a sell immediately. So I can say slash sell. And it just received a sell order and I just sell it. So that's one of those things. Technically, I'd say immediately, again, if you watch my previous video, it's not really selling immediately. You're actually issuing the order and it'll sell at the next candle. That's how it works. So let's go quickly go over code to show you what I modify here, basically. So the main part of the code really is, I mean, I'm, I modify a lot of ready previously for the push bullet process where you're getting all these additional information in terms of wh whether it's bear trend, bow trend, all this information that the default strategy doesn't tell you. So you kind of like left guessing or actually have to go manually back test to figure out what is what. So a lot of this information I added back in here, but for the most part, it really is in this in the on command session right here, where you I, you are you have the different commands that you can uh, interact with. So here you are actually so this way I added all the different help function and the settings function, and here's where actually I modified it so that actually will change the different um, RSI settings in here. So right now I probably have to add like additional ones. So let's say like. Um, Beaumont high for the ADX and Beaumont low, things like that, so that you can change those as well in here. But the basic idea is very simple. You say command handle equal true, and then you set the command config the RSI bow bear ADX dot high equal to command arguments. It'll just load whatever arguments that you previously set. So again, this is um so when I set it to thirty, this is the argument right here. So this is the this is the command and this is the argument and this is what was loaded into that field and the best thing is all these are just temporary so it'll revert back to the settings on the config file so all the config file settings right here 
those will never get erased. They'll never get changed over permanently. It's just a temporary thing. And as you can see here, my mod high mod lows are set to zero because I currently don't have a way to um, to change them. And I also do want to add an additional, another level of um, figuring out whether or not am I in the mod high state or mod low state based on the ADX. At least um, <clears throat> that's something that I will need to report in here as well in the status. So that if you go to the status right here, you get the trend. Well, so inside this link, okay? so getting the trend, the bear R sign, also the ADX, so that you would know whether or not you're going to have a mod high or mod low, and probably to report that information in here as well, so that way you know when it's going to be a buy. So there's definitely some more work for me to do in terms of uh, modifying this strategy, but for the most part, it works. So right now, I do have to eventually test this live because right now as you can see this is still um, paper trading so as a, obviously as a config file called config dash paper trader i haven't set this to run live yet but eventually i will be running a live and it'll just give me so much more options in terms of what i can do with the strategy rather than just be kind of passive about it. i mean i mean it's great to get alerts don't get me wrong i love the fact i was getting alerts from push bullet knowing exactly what the bot is doing but this is really the next stage in terms of not just getting alerts, but being able to like change the strategy and change how the bot is reacting. That's just exactly why I pretty much dreamed of wanting how the bot to do. So this is uh, really the next level. So one other thing I probably want to add in eventually is to add in like a pause function. So let's say the market is going crazy that day, like falling like crazy, for example. And you, you know, you saw that the bot got out. So the bot got out, you're like, okay, that's great. The bot got out, okay. Now let's just hold off on buying. So I want to have like a pause function, say pause, and it manually pauses the bot. So the bot's still running, still keeping track of the candle data, for example, but it's not actually going to buy into the market again until you unpause it. So that's something that I would definitely want to implement, but it's not currently in the here, but given what is um, available, that's not very hard to do. So that's definitely something that I should be implementing within the next day or two. So anyway guys, that's my video for today. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. And sorry if I haven't been answering some of the comments. I actually didn't know that I uh, changed one of the YouTube settings so I wasn't receiving email notifications. But I will be going through my past uh, your, com your past comments and trying to answer them as much as I can. If it isn't crypto, it isn't worth mining, it isn't worth speculating. Peace out.